Went through so much on my own. Tell me it's where was the teachers? Sign the transatlantic slave trips. Fact. Let me mess up this tradition. That's a plot twist. His spirit is lost. Don't confuse him with who God is. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of God? Then we just read that Christ said, if, if 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 I'm in you, you and me. Yes. So he's right. talking about what we doing. Right. What possibly y'all might be doing. Because this is an end times book. He telling you the future. What's gonna happen? Right. Right. Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? Because that's what that's what's happening now. It, it happened in Jesus' time. It's going to happen right now. Because every time we put one of them videos out, this is being fulfilled. And mm -hmm. there was a good way off from them and heard of swine feeding. Okay. So it's talking about now swine is a man. A swine is a prophet. All that stuff in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14, talking about those animals, all those animals are people. So he talking about uh, there was some swine uh, feeding. The it's swine that. are the people that they train in that yes. doctrine, the people learning that doctrine. They got the characteristics of yes. animals. That's animals. what a similitude is. Yes. It's, it's, it's a pattern that you can see. See that? Yes. Swine, swine represents something spiritually and you can take on you can take on the attribute of swine with a certain behavior. Right, that's correct. So oh, swine are those have... men who fit the characteristic of a pig, right? Because the Most High is talking about prophets. He's talking about when he talking about he talking about a swine. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to Leviticus eleven, and then you'll see it. <clears throat> I'm following this. This is the only way. That's why he said this. This is the precept upon precept part we talking about. You notice he gave you he gave you an example of uh somebody possessed. Then I came and gave you an example. Now he giving you two. We giving you two. He said two or more in my name. Okay, that he in the midst of that means that what that's what it means. All right, Leviticus. Uh, we're going to Leviticus eleven. Right, seven. We're gonna start off at we before we get there, we're gonna go uh uh we're gonna start from uh verse two and then we're gonna drop down. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts are that are on the earth. Okay, the so when he's talking about beasts, okay. Mm -hmm. Beast is Ezekiel uh 34 and 31, where he says uh the flocks of my pasture are men, and then you got uh Ecclesiastes, uh what is it? three and what is it? 318. Write those yeah. down, brother. 318. You, you got Joe Joe 12 and 7 and 8. Okay, so all of those, all of those precepts tell you when he talking about beast, he talking about men. And in, in the one in Ecclesiastes 3 and 18, he's saying beasts are, he said the men are beasts. So yes. he's telling you. When you see any beast in the scriptures, it's uh -huh. referring to a man. So that beast that he's talking about, that swine, is a similitude of a man, meaning the person that the, the, the scripture is talking about is showing you the characteristics of a person you're going to see in the latter days. That's what it's doing, right? Uh, let's go ahead, read on to... Uh, Verse three. Verse three. Whatsoever part of the hoof. The hoof is a foot. Okay. A doctrine. Right. And it's cloven footed. Meaning it's, they know how to rightly divide. Right. You and two the cud. So that means he, this person here knows how to get his, he knows how to eat and digest the understanding that he has. Right. Read on. A 
among the beast that they shall eat. That shall you eat. So it's letting you know. So anybody who has the ability to go and research and rightly divide, eat means learn. If you go to Romans, excuse me, you go to uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 1 and 2, it tells you whenever you eat, it's talking about learning. Anytime about the Bible talking about eating, the, the translation spiritually to the carnal word eat is learn. All right. So the most high, when he talks up. about eating, he's okay. talking about learning. We're going to drop down to verse seven. Mm -hmm. Verse seven. And the what did you say, sir? Did, did you say something? I said, I said, no, that's, I said, that's a big deal to understand what these words mean. Yes. Right. Yes. This is what they, this is what the prophet is supposed to do. The yes. prophets, when the most high say the prophet judges, he's judging between what the Bible means carnally versus what it means spiritually that's judging the most high gonna be the one who do the final judgment the only thing the prophet supposed to do is explain to them people what the difference between carnal and spiritual are that's the prophet's job mm -hmm. that's it he, he's not supposed to have this commentary well i think and all that other stuff i think uh we got uh uh the other uh, person trying to come in here hold on hold on where is she where is she let me see. Oh, uh, let's see. There she is. Perfect, perfect time. Okay, good. There she is. Oh, she got the, uh, okay, she got you guys' symbol up. Okay, but nonetheless. Uh, it's just on. Yeah, she's on. So she's, on connected. Right? she's connecting the audio. Oh, okay. Okay, she got audio now. Okay, she's good. Hello? Yes. Hello. yes. Hi, how are hey, you? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. I apologize. No, no, no. Uh, we we, we no, that's okay. it. <laughs> for the delay. Yeah, yeah, we're we're good. We're good. Okay, good. Um, thank you for meeting with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. And shalom. Absolutely. Shalom, shalom sis. Hey, hey, sis, this uh Pop Samuel. How you doing? Doing fine. I want okay. to express this to you that uh, you know, if you have a pencil and paper handy or record and record this, because I'm going to tell you why. Uh, a lot of people think women cannot teach. And if you stay on long enough, I'm going to give a class and you're going to see a woman actually teach. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the woman going to start teaching the people who she talks to. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Elle. But you have to teach this doctor. You have to teach this doctor. I want to, I want to, I want to clarify that a woman can't teach what she gets. This doctrine, I mean, a uh, carnal woman can teach. When I say carnal, I mean actually a woman. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. You I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. All right. So now uh, we we was down to um, verse seven. We're gonna drop the verse seven over here. We're in um, Leviticus eleven, and we're explaining what. A swine is from the class from the from the uh, scripture we were at before. So, um, verse uh, seven. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. Okay, so now we we know that uh, a hoof is a doctrine. All right, so he's talking about this particular person, it, even though he divides the hoof. Right. Read on. And be cloven footed. Yes, he's he he knows how to preach. Right. Yeah, you know, he not the cut. He don't know how to go and learn um the doctrine so that the stuff that he's putting out is clean. All right. So he don't know how to go and go precept upon precept to find out whether or not the stuff that he's talking about is legitimate. Because whenever it's talking about chewing the cud, you're gonna find out that when the most high is talking about the belly, the loins. Uh, he's talking about, even when he talks about the womb, he's talking mm -hmm. about the mind. 
Like you hear them say, the heart is the mind. Well, when the Most High says the belly, he means the mind as well. All right, that's your loins. The loin, and he say loins of the mind. Uh, what's that, First Peter uh, 1 and 13? Is that it, Elder? That's it. Okay, yeah, the belly is the mind, okay? So, um, but he says that um, 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 he chew is not the cloak, the, uh, he chew is not the cud. He is unclean to you. He letting you know that a swine is a prophet, a prophet that don't have a righteous doctrine. That's what a swine is, right? So when you go back to uh, where we were in Matthew, right? He don't and, know the spiritual interpretation. That's what Elder was saying. Elder, uh, see, when God feeds us, of course he feeds us through our stomach. But when he feels spiritually, it goes into our mind, which is the yeah. belly to him. That's food. Right. You see, it, he looked at the mind as being your belly. Correct. But I, right. uh, if I can go to Jeremiah what? 1 and 9, and I'm, I'm done. Okay. Let's go to Jeremiah 1 and 9. Uh -huh. Okay, Jeremiah 1 and 9. Uh -huh. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Uh -huh. And the word said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Uh -huh. Keep reading. Well, yeah, 9. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh-huh. So that's, he, he put it in his mouth, but He's putting it in his mind. That's how he feeds you through your mind. You see that? Yes. So he now he's going to teach it. And that's what he's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get yeah. back to Matthew so I can go ahead and finish this up mm -hmm. with your uh, as you would uh, as we was talking about. He saw those uh those two fierce prophets coming through with the wrong doctrine. Like I say, the most high just the end times book. He telling you what's going to happen in the end days. I'm going to read it over again. And when he was come to the other side of the country of the Gergesene, there met him two possessed with devils. This is what you're talking about. You're talking about it's possessed with devil. Actually talking about somebody got an evil spirit on them. No, that's not what it's talking about. The two who's possessed with devil are two men who have the wrong doctrine because the devil's is, is a, decept a deceptive doctrine. It's talking, he's letting you know in these days, you're going to see people come with possessed who are going to be possessed with the wrong doctrine. Like those people you see standing out there screaming on the corners, all right? Coming out of the tombs. Tombs is churches. Church, a tomb is a, a dwelling of the dead. The okay. dead is the carnal doctrine. As we read before, Romans 8 and 6, to be carnally minded is death. And we also read in uh, Romans 6 and 6, it's telling you when, it's, it's, when somebody's dead, they haven't converted yet. He says, exceeding fear. So you see how those guys get out there, they'll curse you out, they'll call you out your name and the whole thing, right? So that no man might pass by that way okay so they blocking you right from getting the actual doctrine right because they got their doctrine blocking you all right and behold they cried out saying what is this uh what have we to do with thee jesus thy son of god so he's saying christ's doctrine gonna come and they ain't gonna like it right and he says, art thou here to torment us before the time? Well, now is the time because we're at the end, right? In Christ's time, it wasn't time yet, right? So they say, are you here to uh, torment us before the time? We're here to torment them now with this doctrine because it's time. And there was a good way off from them, a herd of many swine, not feeding. So now it's telling you, it's talking about swine learning that foolish doctrine, right? So the devils besought them, besought him, saying, If thou cast if thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. Mm -hmm. So he's letting you know in these days, they are going to take their doctrine, and those those young people coming up 
those young prophets who don't understand, they're going to be possessed with the doctrine of the wicked. That's what possessed by devils is talking about. It's not talking about like the exorcist and all that other stuff. That's something that these people here in this time came up with to explain the Bible that they didn't understand. Yeah. I, I really just had to, that make sense. Yeah, I had to bring that I had to bring that out because it's a it's a lot, it's very oppressive dealing with, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> really, really digging too deep into all that stuff is oppressive. So I got to bring it out because I know some people are really actually, they got a spirit of fear on them because they believe in that if they behave a certain way that some demon is going to take them over every second. And if mm -hmm. they do one thing wrong, a demon is going to come take over their body and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. People are really, really deep into that stuff. And like I said, it's hard to even get to a point where you can learn with people because they're not breaking that, they're not rightly dividing the word Correct. to get an understanding because the, the Bible has so much light in it that yeah. is not being brought out because we look at it from a, a human, a worldly view. A world, we look yeah. at the Bible from a worldly view. The, the Bible literally carnal. says, don't be worldly. And right. we're looking at it from a worldly view. That's another way to say carnal. Yes, mm -hmm. that's correct. That's correct. And so now, now that, that what, what you are, are starting to understand is why when we talk about Jewish fables, that's what the most high talking about when you talk about Jewish fable. Them people sat there and saw uh, on Ten Commandments, that man grabbed that stick, he slammed that stick down on the side of that water and that thing just opened up, just open up. That's I, all a lie. I, 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 I pose this question. <laughs> I pose this question. Uh, like we said, Angel, right? If there was never a movie hmm. or there was never a picture and I ask you, what was the angel? How would you describe it? You if see that there, silence we got? If if there was never a movie, never a movie, or you never seen a picture, and I walked up to you and I said, "I read Angel," and I said, "What is an angel? How would you describe it?" Well, I probably okay. would think the angel. I mean, if there was no movie, I would probably think you, that an angel is a beautiful person, a wonderful person that that just has gifts or something, and that they always bring in light or something like that. If we was to be <laughs> realistic. Right. That's what you I think. Yeah, I, I think I like that. See, See how you saying? just cut to the chase. <laughs> he been, oh, he studying. Go to, uh, let, I just <laughs> wanted to back up because we need two precepts, right? Go to he Isaiah 51 and 20. Because we got precepts about the angel, like Elder Johanna said. We got, you can read 1 Corinthians 6, uh, chapter 6, verse 1 through 3. And it said, you're supposed to judge the angels. He's talking about the spiritual person. So you have two bodies, carnal, spiritual. You're supposed to be so good in this doctrine that you actually can judge a person that's spiritually discerned, that knows spiritual, what God is actually talking about. Not carnal, but spiritual. So go to Isaiah 51 and 20. Just to back up what the elder Stephen had said earlier. Isaiah 51 and 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the heads of the streets. You see that? Read. As a wild bull in a net. See that? That's how they are on the street right now. Read. They are full of the fury of the Lord. Uh-huh. The rebuke of thy God. See that? See what I'm saying? They, they do not want to get correction from God. They don't want to get correction. The correction is, brother... The Israelites supposed converted the whole world. The whole yes. world. They don't want to do that. So then now they got so much hate because they the, the caps are teaching people to hate the very people they're supposed to be converted. Yes. See yes. that? But yes. go yes. ahead. Em. So now, uh, just that, and that was just to uh, to take care of that question that you had about whether or not people can actually be possessed by devils and such okay so we're gonna go on ahead and get started uh you had a particular question you you sent us you said uh uh in genesis it says humanity being created it says be fruitful and multiply before they get to the creation of adam and eve all right so um we're going to answer that question for you so that you get a better understanding of what it's saying, right? So again, the way that this book is written, most high sees time different than we all see time. 
we just did a video about can a man live 900 years right and you know uh uh in your mind you know that a man cannot live 900 years so again here we are with the duality of the bible carnally you would think that's what it's talking about but spiritually it's not saying that it's talking about a man's level of understanding right somebody has 900 years of understanding the equivalent whatever benchmark or, or gauge that the most high uses to describe somebody's understanding that's how he explains it right because the word uh day wisdom and all that stuff that's that's uh that means uh like it was, talks about sun light day morning it's talking about wisdom some of the scriptures for that is uh ecclesiastes 7 and 11 uh jeremiah 15 and 9 it lets you know that the sun is wisdom all right so uh in order to explain this thing right here about um uh, be fruitful and multiply all right it's not talking about the creation of humanity all right everything in genesis 1 is spiritual all right so at the end of the day what you're going to understand is there is a different i don't want to know if you want to call it a ram or dimension or whatever right that's just the words that we use in our human brains all right but after you die, your spirit goes to a place. It is it is in a different plane or place or whatever, right? It's not talking this 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 uh, thing in Genesis one about be fruitful and multiply. It's not talking about carnal creation. All right, this is before any of the physical creations happen. All right. So now, uh, and 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 if you and, and if I'm not explaining it to your understanding. You free to ask, you know, like give give me more, all right? Or or a precept is, or don't let us explain something and don't ask question. Say prove it, and we will we accept that as men. Say prove it. That what elders just said. Say where where are some precept to authenticate what you're talking about? Honestly, right? In the scripture that's a commandment. Uh, it says prove all things. Yes, first that's in power two and one. Right. Ask that. Right. Please ask that. We won't get a fantasy. What where is that say that that you can prove what you just said, Elder? Do that. And we because see, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm an old person. Somebody got them. The greatest thing for a person that loves God is someone you teach someone what you knew, what God taught you. That's the greatest thing. Mm. So if you don't know something, ask us. We are elders. Whatever it is, ask us. Show us two precepts. I'm serious, mm. uh, uh, bro. I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to shout y'all out. Like, I want to show respect because all our lives growing up, you know, there was never no places where you could go and be like, yo, show, you know, show and prove, prove. If you go to church, because we all started out Sunday going to church. You go to church, you go to the pastor, you ask him to prove something, he tells you just have faith, literally. That's it. So we all That's know it. that. So no, we gonna prove it, brother. Squeaky, are you there? Yes, uh, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. So if you got this is her question. This is this is Squeaky's question. She wrote this question down. So if, if, okay. if somebody's gonna ask about this one, she's yeah. gonna be the one because she specifically asked. And y'all are y'all are answering it properly, actually, because she's basing it off of what y'all, you know, how y'all going about it with the structure y'all building. Okay. Okay. Now, sister, I, I want to clarify <clears throat> this. I'm sorry, Elder. Think double, carnal, spiritual. We oh, we know what carnal is. Of course, we're gonna have babies and stuff. But you mm -hmm. got to get to understand what God is actually saying spiritually. And we're gonna get precepts to back up what we say. Just say, hey, prove it. And and, and say, prove it. We older people, we we know what we're talking about. Just say prove it. But go ahead, Elder. Okay. Anything, anything, what we bring out, we got it. Okay. All right. But uh let me get over here. Uh, because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something right quick. So uh look here. Uh Genesis chapter two. Now he's gonna tell you everything up that he's talking about in, in chapter one, all that stuff spiritual. All right. It says, uh, Genesis chapter two, verse one, it says, thus the heavens and the earth were finished 
and all the host of them. Now he done created everything, right? Mm -hmm. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work he had made. We're going to tell you what rest means here in a second. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God created and made, right? These are the generations of the heavens and the earth. When he's talking about generation, he means doctrines, all right? He ain't talking about like, okay, some uh, this man and this woman come together and then they have a baby and then that baby is the next generation. He ain't talking about that. The most high is a spirit. So you got to understand what generation mean uh, spiritually. It ain't talking about two people having a baby. He's talking about doctrines, how doctrines are being created. Genesis 1 talking about doctrines, all right? In the day that the Lord made the earth and the heaven. The earth is the carnal, the heavens is the spiritual, all right? And every plant of the fields before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth. And there was not a man to till the ground. He ain't created a man yet. You understand that? So everything in chapter one is spiritual. You get that? That's why we're saying what we're saying. The Most High is telling you. Everything in chapter one is talking about spiritual things. All right? So whenever he's talking about he created the animals and all this other stuff. Well, we just read when he talking about beasts, he talking about men. So he created those men spiritually. Hey, sis, ask, say, prove it. Prove it. <laughs> all right. There you go. Let me show you here where, uh, hey, we, who's that? What'd you say, Elder? Well, I was saying, uh, put the, Put the put the scriptures on the screen. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. So they can read it. They okay. can read it. So they can see it. Because just reading it, they can't, you know what I'm saying? So they can see it verbatim what you're saying. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can uh because I'm reading yeah, along as you say it. So okay. okay. Right, right. Because uh, if you if you read it kindly, you won't get the spiritual interpretation <clears throat> what elders saying. So when you ask start to say. And when people in those camps start to say, prove it. Because this okay. is your salvation on the line. Right. Right. Okay. So now, when the Most High was talking about, okay, he made, you know, in Genesis 1, let's go back to Genesis 1 over here. All right. He starts talking about, he made, uh, and God uh, let the earth bring forth living creatures. After his kind, cattle, creeping thing, beast. Okay, so all of that stuff, cattle, creeping thing, you saying the most high say he made. Now, I just told you, I just showed you in Genesis 2 where he said, hold on. Genesis 2, he said uh, in verse 5, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, every herb of the field before it grew and had not caused it to rain on earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. So what he's telling you is he was creating all that stuff before, right? So, um, you know, he's creating all of these creatures and all that other stuff. But if you know what that stuff means, we're going to go to, let's see, we're going to Ezekiel. 34 and 11. Yeah, we're going to 31. Ezekiel 34 and 31. Uh -huh. All right. So you can see what he's talking about when he's talking about beast. All right. So we come down here to Zika 34, 31. I read it. I, it's, on the, it's on the deal. So, so, okay, okay. Yeah, so we can all read it together. And it says right here. Hold on. Let me just get it here. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture are men. So he telling you, when he talking about flocks, that's all those animals, those creatures and all that other stuff. He's saying the, the spiritual interpretation of an animal in the Bible is he's talking about a man. And I am your God, says the Lord God. We are his flock. Right. His flock. So now, whenever you go to, uh, we'll go to, I'll give you another one. I will just go to Psalms. All right. Psalms 100. Right. And you already know what a sheep is. Right. 
So we just talked about a pastor. All right. Here we go right here. It says here, Psalms 100, verse 3. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. So he's a, now it's getting ready to compare the people to something, right? And the sheep of his pasture. So the similitude of an animal is a person. Y'all see that? That's yeah. how the Most High speaks. When he's talking about animals, he's talking about people. Y'all see that? Hey, Elder, yes. Let me go to Job, Job 12 and 7. Can you back that up? Last one. Job chapter 12. And if you guys have any questions, please let us know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach you. <laughs> What 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 dog you know can teach you? What pig you know can teach you? You're talking <laughs> about something. And the fowls, what eagle, owl, or whatever of the air, and they shall tell thee. And no, <laughs> so you see, uh, verse eight, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. The only thing that can do that, the person. only thing that can do that is people. You right. understand? So it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. It's a lot, brothers and sisters, but we're here. We're here. Don't think we're going to leave y'all. No. When it's talking about animals, it's talking about people. Why would God write a book about people, I mean animals, and give it to the man? Right, right. I mean, you, can, you, can see, you, know, you can see when 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 there's certain things, you know, I think even in that passage right there, or speak to the earth, dish, they um and it shall teach thee the fishes of the sea to declare unto thee. Is you know that the sea is even meaning something different right there, too. Yeah, the sea, the sea um, is talking about doctrine. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's yeah. what the doctrines are. They teaching you the sea. Right. The right. You see that? That's the only way it'll make sense if you really, really go through it. Right. You, and and that's once you, once you about about line upon line. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what that's what it's talking about. Yeah, you got to be able to get the context of what it's talking about. See, but but people will have you believe in that fish can actually talk. That that journal was actually <laughs> in a way. Right. You know yeah. what? What man could survive three days underwater in in in, in a well? That mean it means something else. They I mean, got characteristics of these animals. Put that in your mind. Not only that. It's also insects. Mm -hmm. Those people got characteristics of insects. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Well, you, you know what well, the thing is too, as well. The spiritual, the spirit between the spiritual and carnal understanding is that not getting the understanding for it outside of carnal is also oppressing you spiritually, and you can feel it. And that's part of the reason why I've been searching and searching and looking and yeah. trying to gain, gain a more understanding. Because I'll literally read something. I literally, I may not have the understanding. I'll read something carnally, and I'll mm. be like, nah, God wouldn't do that. Something's, right. like, something's wrong. Exactly. And I'm, it's not even a desperation thing. It's just that I know that something is missing. Yes. Because not even only because this is this thing that this um this characteristic is not of God, it's also missing information and confusion in, as well. So I know it's not a desperation. My spirit thinks there's something else, you know? Correct. Correct, and that's why we went into captivity because the prophets did not teach what the Most High told them to teach, and the world got turned upside down. That's why the wickedness of the world now. The reason them white folks put us in in slavery, them folks sat down now. They walked the Deuteronomy twenty eight, say they going into slavery. Well, let's get that done and over with. Check that off. Well, I got something they didn't to understand what it meant. God released. I feel like God released us from slavery. I want to say this on record too, because. I feel like God released us from slavery to, to come out and redeem ourselves. And I feel like if it wasn't God that released us out of slavery, we simply wouldn't have got out. That's correct. But he's trying to get you out of a different slavery now. You're in a slavery of the mind now. When yeah. he's talking about right. them prison houses and all that other stuff, he's talking about them churches because they got right. you in the wrong doctrine. I mean, that, right. that, like I said, it's oppressing. It's, it, yes, it's that's oppressive. right. You are it's oppressed. Oppressive. Yes. Because it's something right. that won't hang around <clears throat> If you eat pork, there's some people that won't talk to you. If you uh, another religion, they won't even open up to you. 
They won't even right. try to share the word with you now because they're like, oh, he's something else. Oh, forget it. I can't talk to them. Right. It's all type of craziness going on. And I'm ready to I'm ready to, to debunk a lot of it. Yes. Yeah. how I look at it. Can I get one? Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Like, can we go to Leviticus 12 and 2? Just for the sister. I want you, I want you to read this. You still that sis? Yep, I'm here. All right. This is for you. Leviticus 12 and 2. I want you to read this. I want you to read this. Thank you. Can you you, you see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you make it big, Elder P. Yeah, it's it's, oh, it's it's about as double, big. Double, yeah. no, double click it. You double click it. So it's by itself. Um, oh, my fault. My fault. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. My fault. Next verse. Yeah, previous, previous, yeah. Okay. It's a harder class, sis. Oh, and I agree. But well, go you're going to learn. You will learn. You will learn. This is the spiritual interpretation of what accident, what the Bible said, carnal. Versus spiritual. Always remember, it's a double meaning. And when God talking about animals, He's talking about people got the characteristics like the serpent. The serpent got the characteristics of a snake. He gonna right. eat dust. He gonna swivel to and fro in the earth. That's actually a man. Job two right. and two. Job one and two. I mean, yeah. uh, Job two and two. Well, well, well let, let let her go ahead and read it because I I know we. we 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 stretching it out, but oh, we had a pressure time, right? Yeah. Okay. But go oh, ahead, no. go ahead. She can she can go ahead and read that so so she can get the exercise in. Go ahead, sis. Right. Leviticus chapter twelve, verse two. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days, according to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. So in your mind right now, what you think does that mean? Is that talking about actual childbirth? No. It's because I asked you a leading question or would you really read that and say that's what it means? Like if that, you think God was talking like about if, childbirth? If I, if I, if it was a few years ago before I was, you know, uh, truly spiritual, I would have took uh -huh. that as verbatim, as carnal. Okay. That's the point. So does, does anybody know what to take, want to take a gander at this uh, parable, what does it mean? Anybody? Okay, we'll, we'll break it down like this. What is a woman? Does anybody have, know what a woman is? A woman a is a woman is someone that can give birth. That is a creator. Um, she is the creator of mankind, because that's the that's the child children of of God was mankind, correct? Okay, we'll get it. Let's get a description. Go to uh, Sirach okay. fifteen and one. Okay. Now we're gonna go with this. See what this was talking about. Because Paul said earlier that being carnally minded is not part of the law. Neither in deed can it be. All right. So we're gonna look at this. Right. It says, "He that fears the Lord will do good, and he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her." So who? What is the her in this, this sentence? What is the her referring to? The law. Mm -hmm. The law. The law. Right. Go to the next verse, yeah. please, sir. And as a mother shall she meet him and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. So what is mother, wife, and virgin, and she? What does that mean in that sense? Go to the previous verse, Elder. Knowledge of the law. So the her is the her is. The law, you said her is the doctrine, the law, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's consistent in the next verse as well. You see that? See, it's a mother. Okay. These are, the mother. These are, all, these are all women, correct? Yes. M mother, she, wife, virgin. Well, virgin could be any and none, but in this sentence right here, in, in the context of this sentence, right? It's all talking yeah. about what? Women. Women. Mm -hmm. Right, next verse, Holden. It says, with the bread of what is what is what is bread in this sentence? The under, that's understanding. Correct. So when you there you go. So when you see bread on the Bible, that's what it's talking about. Understanding. Okay. She yeah. shall feed him and give him what's water in this sentence. It's thirst for the word. There you you see, you see how the exercise yes. works? Yes. So now, so now we gotta work. 
All right, so I'll get one more. Let's go to Proverbs 7 and 4. We'll get another part of this exercise. Proverbs 7, verse 4 and 5. Question. So, one question. Um, yes, sir. This would apply to, would this apply to the quote unquote Old Testament? Yes. yes. Let's, okay. let's, this is Old Testament. Let's go read the Old Testament. It is the Old now, Testament. Go. Yes. It okay. is Old Testament. So now we look at this sentence, right? What is the word sister and the word kinswoman mean? Say unto say unto wisdom, thy art my sister, and call and understanding thy kinswoman. Kinswoman. Right. Kinswoman. So kinswoman. So what is a, so what is when it's talk about in this sentence, what does sister mean in this sentence? Thou art oh, my sister. What'd you say, sis? What is what does kinswoman stand for? It's like like oh. a cousin. Like say your female cousin. It's female what? Oh. Like your female cousin. A cousin. female cousins. You're like I'm kin okay. to So they relate it. They relate it. Yes. Well, right. it's, so Under, understanding okay. and wisdom is related. That's what she's saying. I think it's well, yeah, one wisdom is calling it's, it's talking about sisters, wisdom in the yes. understanding. Yes, yes. And it's kinswoman, yes. which would be a cut of relate in relation to wisdom, right? Yeah, okay, but both of them are female, right? Yeah, they both sister one is a sister, one's a cousin. Yeah, next verse, yeah. okay. So now it says that they may keep thee from a strange woman. So, what would a strange woman be? A, a strange woman would be a woman that doesn't know the true doctrine. Yes. Or no, untrue doctrine. You got it. You see, yeah. this is how you precept the Bible out. So it says, from the stranger which flattered with her words. So who would the stranger be? From the stranger which flat would flatter her the stranger, words. The stranger is the lie, the deceit. Yes. yes. Or the person the that's telling doctrine. you. Yes. Mm -hmm. The person mm -hmm. that's telling you that the deceitful doctrine is a stranger. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? The strange yeah. woman. The right. Yes. Who, so so now is, I showed you two. Let Sean say what did you say, Sean? I said they're using the words now, so they, they yes. they're, they're flattering translating that word. It's telling you a woman is a doctrine. Every context that we use a woman, it's been a doctrine. You notice that? It's yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, it's been it's been an understanding, a doctrine, the law. That's what that's what I'm showing you. That's what it is. Now it showed you what a strange woman. So now God talked it in a negative light. He said it was strange. So mm. if it's strange, is that word the good word of God? No, the strange that God's would, would be like the defiled or lie. See how it's working? So now when we go back to uh Ecclesiastes, I mean um Leviticus 12 and 2. They, I'm showing you guys how to precept. This is how you precept the word though. What each thing means. So what for a question about precepts, when you precept, do you have to stay within the chapter? No. no. Okay. Now I'm just I'm just you notice he just went did. to all did. those he just went to all to those different books. Right. And in those different books. We went to uh Ecclesiasticus and uh we went to another book. In mm. all those books, the word woman consistently means doctrine, regardless right. whether it's saying woman, wife, daughter, sister, maid, whatever. Woman means doctrine. If you see a woman word, it means doctrine. That's why he showed you so many of them so right. that you can see when the hey, most hey, high hey, uses hey, the word woman, he's hey, talking Elder, about a doctrine. Take them to Revelation 2.24. Okay. To sum it up, then I won't, uh, if LD had to elaborate what he was doing because that's a, that's a good class. Um, Revelation 2.24. So, so the sis, you brothers can see this. It's very important reputation for you to remember. When it's talking about a woman, that cousin of that woman, that strange woman, it's talking about a doctrine. It's not talking about an actual carnal woman. When those cats be talking to, down about women, they don't understand it's not a carnal woman. Yes, Jezebel actually existed as a carnal woman. But the doctrine she had was also called Jezebel. But read that right there. Verse 24. Um, uh, we, we, uh, start at 20. Do, do 20 first. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servant, to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Now, right. Right, hold on. We're going to go to uh, 24 so that you can see who Jezebel is. It's not actually talking about an actual woman. Jezebel been dead. The carnal woman been dead. This one is talking about her doctrine still was still living. And don't catch right. this same doctrine. Mm-hmm. But, I, but unto you, I say, and, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, this doctrine, and See which that? have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. Now, go to, go, because I want sister to actually see it. It's a doctrine, but read 24. I want her to actually see. Well, we already said that in 22. Yeah. 20 yeah. Yeah. So the subject here was about Jezebel. That's wrapping, is wrapping things up right here. She's a doctrine. She's not actually, when they'll cast me talking bad about women, it's not talking about an actual woman. It's talking about a doctrine. Mm-hmm. Spiritually. So now they right. spiritually. No, so now they're teaching to hate women. Yes, they are hate groups. They hate That's what the most high is talking about. So doctrine, who don't love women? I love my wife. I love my mother. I love my daughter. So I suppose to hate them because they're a woman. Because the Bible say if right. you read it carnally, you'll say the woman is the reason why we in sin. It's not the woman, it's the doctrine that yeah. we have is called after a woman. Right. Le- Le- Leviticus 12 and 2? That's what but, I was but, saying about Leviticus but, let, let, him, let him ask his question, because he was about to say yes, something. Sir. Go ahead, Sean. Oh, I wasn't even about to say nothing. I was just thinking about, like, when I re- took a took a look again, uh, I forgot where it was in Genesis, where Adam, I think it was in Genesis, where Adam was, um, it said Adam was defiled, and it it, 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 it switched my mind, because I always thought, like, it was all on <laughs> well, mm-hmm. thanks, That's thanks, how man. they do it. Yes. Stay tuned hey, today because hey, I got I got an answer for that class coming out. Break that down for him, brother. Break that down. <laughs> he got to know this, brother. He got to know, and his sister got to know this. Yeah, we need to we need to unravel this oppression that's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. It's a lot of division, man. It's a division between men and women. It's a division right. between the people. It's that's why. Right. That's why I'm showing you Leviticus. Tw- that's why I'm showing and, you Leviticus. Some I'm of the broke. greatest, some of the greatest people in the Bible were women teaching. Right. They, mm-hmm. they don't know how to write the Bible, the word to actually see it. To answer what mm-hmm. you just said. And then I want to ask another question. Okay. Mm-hmm. What he just said, remember what you said that Adam Adam was defiled? Look here. We're in uh Ecle- uh second Esdras, which is in the apocrypha, right? And that, the apocrypha used to be in the Bible, but you know, a lot of people believe they took it out because it said you know, after Alexander the Great died, you know, wicked was spread. That's what they claim. I don't know, but they took it out. I don't but agree a, with them picking out the book. Right. They said it had too much in it. That's why they removed right. it. Too much so, truth so, in but, it. But nonetheless, it precepts with the Bible because the words mean the, sa- the same spiritually in the Apocrypha that it does in the Bible that everybody else has. Okay. Well, we're going to start here at... Uh, uh, Verse 20, second Ezra 3 and 20. It says, and yet tookest thou not away uh, from them. He's talking about Adam and Eve, uh, a wicked heart, hard as the mind, mm. that thy law might bring forth fruit in them. So he's going to give you fruit in a, in a minute here. But verse 30, uh, verse 21, it's what you just said. You just didn't know where to find it at. For the first Adam, that's that man, bearing a wicked heart, wicked mind transgressed and was overcome and so be all they that are born of him so it's letting you know it wasn't eve that transgressed you now know that a woman is a doctrine eve is the doctrine that he had that doctrine started to believe the lies of them other trees in the garden a tree is a man that's a prophet Right. Hey, Elder, can we go, go can, over can, one can chapter? Can we get a precept for trees? Say that again, sir. I said, can we get a precept for trees? Absolutely. Yes, sir. What is it? Uh, 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 Mark, uh, Mark 8, 24. 8. Okay. 
Yeah. Mark, need, Mark 8 and 24, I think. But you need two of them. Right? Remember? Yeah, two witnesses. There you go. That's what y'all need to start asking them. Because it's not us. This is the most highest doctrine. Say, I want two witnesses, Pastor. <laughs> I want two witnesses, Pastor. There you go. <laughs> you don't get them, see? All right. We'll see. <laughs> they can do Mark. it. <laughs> so read that, brother. Okay. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. I see men as trees walking. God sees men as trees. You see that? Walking trees. But even then, even if he didn't say men, walking trees. It's like but he specifically right. said... <laughs> Men. But, I see men as but that that is exactly right. what you need to do. When yes. you read that, that when you say men walk, that that's huge questioning that carnal crap. Yes. When but you do it, that, this is why I'm doing it. this. This is right. why I'm doing this because this is for this is for this is not I'm this is for to 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 this is literally to get that oppressive state mm -hmm. of being carnally focused on the Bible mm -hmm. and carnally carnally worldly view. People mm -hmm. need to get the right understanding of what worldly means because people mm -hmm. in the church, people in whatever camp, whatever stuff, they don't understand what worldly means. Worldly means to be looking at the Bible from a very, very carnal view. That's what worldly yes. really means. Everybody think worldly means what music I'm listening to, what I'm eating and what, mm -hmm. no, he's talking about reading the Bible and learning how to teach people so that right. way they relieve their spiritual the spiritual life, the spiritual understanding. Mm. That's what I feel. And then you feel uh, uh, something come off your shoulders once you start to understand that. And then you still feel the moral compass to not right. run around doing anything. So right. it's, it's not get away, get away with nothing. It's not, it's fulfilled that way. It right. makes more sense. Right. Hey, the other one for trees is go to Jeremiah 5 and 14. Okay. Because sister said two witnesses, right, sis? Amen. That's right. Amen. <laughs> your salvation this what their camps they need to start asking those people this is y'all salvation where is the two precepts you know christ had they got two men carnal men to testify against christ mm -hmm. you see that yeah that was their precepts two men now we ask it again two precepts out of the bible we know for a fact these men are holy men am i correct yes so we want yes. to get their precepts. Go read that Jeremiah 5 and 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people. What is wood? It's a tree, right? <laughs> and it's a tree. Wood is a tree, right? Yes. yes. All right. Read them. And it shall devour them. See, so he compared the people to wood before they got ooh, the wood. Ooh, see, you see that? <laughs> yes. I got one. I got one. I got one. Judges. Judges. Uh, <laughs> Judges. Judges nine, yeah. Judges 9 and 8. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first thing that came to my mind. This yeah. is beautiful. I love this. Thank All you. Praises to the again. Right. Amen. Start saying, prove it. That's what y'all gonna have to say. Prove it. Where's it in the Bible? Where's the Torah? All right, verse eight. Yeah. Eight, Start at verse eight. Okay, Judges nine and eight. That's what, what you want to add? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right there, right there. Okay. It says, the trees went forth on a time to anoint a king over them. <laughs> I don't know you know all the <laughs> We need to go further, uh, sis. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they said unto the sis. olive tree, reign over us. A tree is a man. Uh -huh. Tree is a man. He's anointing somebody, a king. Yes. So, you it's, know. It's, Come on, man. It's, it's, gotta it's you gotta know. Are you gonna take yeah. literally, though? This is what I mean. Are you gonna take that literally? You people do. Literally. Some people do. That's that's I've never even seen that. Yes. We not we don't need to go any further. Okay, yes, okay. Yes, read, read, read the rest of it. Y'all got that. You, you <laughs> that's right. So let's yeah. go back. I mean um, we, just 
can I ask you one question before yes, we um, start? I don't know the um the the precept or the chapter, but I think um the Bible states something that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So that means oh, okay. he who finds that's a that's doctrine. A finds oh a my thing. God! Amen. Yes, you got it. That's there it, bro. We paying quiet, attention. Boy, you <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm trying to like I have to go to work. So <laughs> hey, I'm Roy. Trying, you paying attention. You good? We good. We good. Yeah, that's, that's the, and, and, and see, this is what the Most High is doing. Let me tell you why the Most High know what he's doing. He knows that after all these people start hearing his doctrine, this ain't our doctrine. We just a couple of guys, you know, you know, we, we <laughs> on the hey, salvation, hey, hey, so hey, we started hey, trying to learn. This, Man, we ain't that smart. This. Say prove it. <laughs> prove it. <laughs> Go to John chapter 7, verse 17. <laughs> that's what y'all got to start doing prove it prove it you got to show you two precepts elder Stephen said it's god's doctrine am i right yes yes all right say prove it sis. Prove, prove it, it. <laughs> judge <laughs> judge chapter 7 verse 17 if any man would do his will he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Jump at the 16, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's the point, yeah. 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 Jesus answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. Okay, that's one precept, right, sis? Yes. All right. Prove it, Elder, for the, the second one. Mr. Uh, Bishop, whatever your name is. Go to the <laughs> 32 and 2. Mr. Pastor. You say what, Elder? What's, what, what? Uh, 32 and 2. This is what y'all got to start saying. Prove it. I need two precepts. Yeah. Spiritual. Yeah, which, which, which book you going to, Elder? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Do it with 32 and 2. All right. Do what was that, brother? I said you can do even three precepts, right? Yeah. Yes. All three, yeah. Three even better. Yeah. Three even better. Better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But you want two. Yeah. 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 Deuteronomy 32 and 2. Because Christ said the one that sent me, right? His doctor. So we know right. that's the big boss. That's the boss mm -hmm. of all bosses. Right. Deuteronomy See? 32 and 2. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. See that? This is God talking. Right. My speech shall distill as the dew. He got a different speech. He got a different speech. You seeing it for your own eyes. And we're going to break down something, sis, at the end of the class for you and the brothers, too. But I want you to really get this that a woman can teach. Read. As, the, as the small rain upon the tender herb. Believe it or not, that rain is understanding. That herb is really people. Read. And as the shower upon the grass. See, grass that, that grass. Yep. Elder, St Elder Johanna brought that out about them people of grass. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you See, just you just got to know once once you start understanding and you start seeing that them people take they get up there and they they just start <clears throat> reading a whole long passage and all that up. Every, throughout that done um passage that they reading, all those words mean something different. So it don't mean what they're saying, it means carnally. Cause like when we started reading this, you sitting up there, you probably was talking about thinking about, you know, the rain is raining and all of that stuff, but rain is water. Water is right. is is the word. Is he if word of, 20, it's 26, mm -hmm. it tells you. We went over it early. Yeah, we went over it early. So it, is it's, it's, it's letting you know it's talking about something totally different than what you think, but you gotta learn how to read it. That's why in uh what is it, Philippians uh uh Two and twelve, or whatever it is, say so you got to work out your own salvation. I mean, yeah. you got to learn what the words mean. You got to learn yeah. his doctrine. Yeah. Right. Once you know the doctrine, now you can yes, learn yes, your salvation. Uh, That's why you say don't listen to no man because I can't get you the kingdom. You got to get it. You got to know what the word means. A, a man, a preacher, get up there and he'll start talking and da You say, well, I don't know. Well, uh, whatever that preacher say, I say, I, I believe. Then all of a sudden, they start getting ready to foreclose on my house and I need some money. Sometimes you just got to accept the change and embrace your growing pains. Take this walk with me. Design 
My growth pains turned to a paradigm shift I had to take a break from rap They wasn't hearing my gift I lost Zeus I can't keep fearing these tricks They call me good rebel Cause I don't follow these scripts I confuse them like Salo so I'll take you on a trip I could beat the myths Passion came and went Like a weather change I guess that's ironic Cause I'm about to make it rain I bring that substance I help you function I had to find God My heart lost a lot of loving I feel my soul numbing But I know my time coming Shock them like thunderbolts Yeah they know my flow stunning good fight I'm in the fourth